We've seen in an earlier lesson that Excel will quite happily take text values or numeric values. And that if we enter some text here, so if I type my name, come down and type my age down, that it left aligns text values and right aligns numeric values. Now there are times when you'd like to tell Excel to treat the number as text. And those times might be when you would like a leading zero. For example, if in I move down a couple of cells and I were to type 00035, perhaps that would be a product number or an identification mark of some kind. When I press return, Excel takes away the three leading zeros, thinking, well, we don't need any leading zeros on a number. I would like it to leave them there. There are a couple of ways we can do that. The first of those is to put in an indicator, which is a single apostrophe. If you type a single apostrophe before you type any numeric values, so if I put my leading zeros in and three five, what you will find is that single apostrophe tells Excel to treat the following characters as text characters, not numeric. When I press enter, you'll see that A, all the contents left aligns them because they're now being treated as text, and B, I do not lose my leading zeros because we've told it to treat it as text. I also get this little green indicator mark there. So if I click and hover and then click the exclamation mark, it's trying to tell me that this number is stored as text. Would you like to convert it to a number? Well, actually I wouldn't because I've done it on purpose. So I'd like it to ignore that error. And then the green little triangle disappears. You'll also notice that the apostrophe is not displayed in the cell. So I cannot see that here. However, up in the formula bar, I can see the apostrophe. So I know I've put it there, but obviously it won't print or it's not displayed on the screen. There is a second way of getting Excel to treat a numeric value as a text value, and that is to pre-format the cell. So if I pick on this cell here and go to the home ribbon, so I need to pre-format this cell as a text cell. Come up here in the number formatting option and in the drop down, choose text text. Now that cell is being formatted as a text cell, so I can go into it and perhaps do my same thing. My leading zeros and my 35 and return and it's now treated as text. You'll see you get the same little warning symbol. Oh, this number stored as text. Yep, don't want to convert it to a number. No, I would like to ignore the error. And the difference between this cell and this cell is that this one does not have the apostrophe in it, whereas this one does but I had to pre-format this cell before typing the number in. I can't do it afterwards because it's already taken the leading zeros off at that stage. So you have to pre-format any cells you would like to enter numeric values as text values, and then you can use them as text values in that cell. Or just type the apostrophe as you type the cell, which personally I find a lot easier. This is quite useful for identification numbers that would have leading zeros in there, or telephone numbers that tend to have zeros at the front of them. You don't want those zeros to be lost. Or you tend to find things like zip codes could be altered into different number styles or bank sort codes can be altered into different number styles. So anywhere you're trying to use numeric values really as characters rather than for mathematical formulas, it's worth formatting that cell as text either manually by picking a cell, going to format and choosing text, or by just typing the single apostrophe before you type any numbers in. And then you'll find Excel will treat those numbers as text values. Left aligns them and you cannot do any formulas on them.